This is Jack Burke, a Canadian with a story of resilience, determination and unwavering passion to reach the top tier of professional cycling. However, that took a turn for the worse after a life-threatening training crash that left him with a broken back, teeth smashed out, scarring throughout his face and even bleeding on the brain. Despite all these setbacks, Jack was soon back on his bike and with the help of a new coach, he started training properly again in May 2024 with renewed vigor and even being lighter in weight. He managed to win several amateur events around the Alps and decided to test himself against some legendary KOMs as well with this incredible form. The first KOM on his radar was the mythical Stelvio where he managed to take the Strava KOM and even surpass the fastest time recorded by the leading riders in the 2020 Giro d'Italia, a true testament to his shape. The next KOM on his radar was none other than the mythical Motorola Pass, infamous for its relentless great and here Jack managed to take the fastest time unseating the legend Vincenzo Nibali's time and taking the comm. This impressive feat caught the attention of the cycling world with numerous outlets writing about this impressive achievement and even becoming the fastest time in many years on the climb. And Jack even left a message for the professional world. And now today I just broke the record of the Motorola. I don't know what more I can do. I've done everything I can. I just want a chance. I just want a chance to compete against the best guys in the world. So, done everything I can. So after an interview with myself, Jack asked if I wanted to join him for another Strava KOM attempt and this time at Alpe d'Huez and in the cold conditions of November. And I thought, why not? This segment itself is the Alpe d'Huez verified one, which is 12 kilometers long and averaging 8.8%. The fastest time is that of Sepp Kruis with 36 minutes and five seconds. And he did this, of course, in the 2022 Tour de France where he was guiding up Tadabigacha and Jonas Vingo. Nevertheless, on the day of the attempt, the weather was extremely cold, but undeterred by this, true to his Canadian roots, Jack set off for his warm-up and part of the support crew took it a bit easy. Jack quickly got back from his warm-up, got kitted out for the cold conditions awaiting him on Alpe d'Huez. Motivation very high on his brand new Scott bike as well. And before long, it was time to start. Jack started out extremely well, right out the blocks, starting out with quite high power, over 450 watts. To start, his average target was around 419, 420 watts. Alpe d'Huez, of course, 21 hairpins, and Jack knew exactly this was on the menu today. And heading up towards the first hairpin, it was going very well so far, and only 20 more to go. But let's hear from Jack what the goal was. I keep it getting asked, like, what's my goal? Like, if I had a real opportunity on the road, like the world tour or like something like that, a real opportunity that like, okay, this is actually a chance, 100% I'd go for it. Like, that is my dream. Like, I would drop everything else for that. But I mean, like, I've tried everything I can for my whole life. And it's like, just getting the opportunities to race is the hardest thing. Like, it, that's like, you can train, you can have the numbers, you can know how to race, you can do all this stuff. But like, actually just getting a start place in races big enough to show yourself is like the hardest thing. But nevertheless, Jack was showing himself here on the Alpe already having conquered a few hairpins. The temperature was five degrees. The watts was going quite well, just sitting around that 400 range. Of course, this was one of the more flatter sections of the climb, but as far as it goes right now, Jack was doing extremely well and it was all still to play for in terms of getting that KOM. And it wasn't long before we saw him on the side as well. Jack seemed to up the power a bit more here around the nine, 10 minute mark, four degrees still. So it's still going extremely well and he was on course to beat the record still, still on course.
around halfway up the mountain, Jack was doing extremely well still, making sure to keep around that 420 mark if he could, pushing on a bit more after each hairpin, and the temperature was dropping even more here. You can see two degrees now. And the support crew, with me included, was there in the van, and we were ready for this final half of the climb with Jack all the way. Jack was making his way up through Alpe d'Huez and one of the iconic corners was coming up for him and that was of course the Dutch corner, a very different affair to that that the riders experience in the summer. Nevertheless, Jack pushing on, the degrees dropping down to one degrees here and the van just up ahead making sure no traffic coming. But here we were getting into the colder part where the cloud was, the real testing part of the climb with the weather and he was still doing fairly well with the watts and we were almost five minutes away from that finish line if you was going to keep this pace. And as Jack came around the last few hairpins, here Jack really started to put the foot on the throttle and get out everything he had left, anything that was left. We were getting down to zero degrees here. 420 watts, he was starting to ramp it up a bit more, 430 watts. The finishing line coming very close. He was very close to the Strava time as well. 440 watts, 450 watts. He was just pushing everything he had. 460, 470 very close as well. Doing his best to just get everything out of this climb. Everything out of his legs. On out, on out, on out. Let's go! Yes, yes! What do you need? What do you need? Keep my helmet on. What an effort. Hey, great job, great job. Come on. Okay, let's see. Achievements. Oh. Where do I see achievements? Oh. I'll do it. 35. 35. <laughs> 56. You did it! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got it! <laughs> oh, boys! Yeah! <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, ten oh, nine yeah, seconds. Yeah, nine seconds. <laughs> oh, man. We did it. Now yeah, we can't tell anybody for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's fucking Thanks so much, boys. boys. <laughs> but there you have it jack took another kom to add to his collection 35 minutes and 56 seconds ahead of sep Cruz. and what an achievement that was and that called for a bit of celebration and what an absolutely remarkable day and at the mountain above the cloud it certainly was great weather and time for some champagne yeah. But with that, that is basically it for this video. Make sure to check out Jack Burke's own Instagram channel and we will see him again very soon for sure. And of course, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you around.